Well, could Allen County's lack of legislation be to blame for a dog attack this week? As we first reported yesterday, the dog in Fort Wayne that ran loose, killed a cat, and attacked a woman's dog will be put down. News Channel 15's Adam Widener has been digging deeper into that dog's aggressive history in Allen County. He joins us now with this 15 Finds Out report. One man told me the county was well aware of the dog's dangerous behavior months ago, but it couldn't do anything about it legally. That lack of action in a roundabout way led to Tuesday's attacks. Now he's calling for a change in legislation before something like this happens again. <coughs> Matt Wolf raises chickens and turkeys in rural Allen County and says he was shocked when he saw our coverage of Rello, the dog involved in Tuesday's attacks in Fort Wayne. Wolf says the Mastiff Pitbull mix had been attacking pets and chasing people in Yoder for months. He had to shoot its mate when it charged at him. In October, the dog attacked his chicken coops. I had, uh, I believe, three turkeys that were killed at that time, one that I had to put down because of the injuries weren't healing. Um, I had several chickens that were, that were killed, and these were the chickens that, that lay eggs for us that we use as a source to kind of supplement the feed for our family. Allen County Police got involved, but Rello was eventually transferred to live in Fort Wayne. For there not to be a communication between Allen County and Fort Wayne saying, wait a minute, this dog has been deemed dangerous. It should not be allowed to move into a populated area. It should not be allowed to go someplace where people don't know the history of the dog. I think that's neglectful. Fort Wayne has a dangerous dog ordinance, but Allen County does not, which is why there were hardly any consequences to Rello's aggression in Yoder. So there's nothing as far as legal ramifications that we can utilize as a law enforcement agency uh, that would prevent that from happening. If Allen County did adopt the dangerous pet ordinance, it would definitely be a different situation. 15 finds out confronted Allen County Commissioner Nelson Peters on why there's no dangerous dog law. It doesn't happen uh, very often. These incidences are few and far between, and so we've not really considered uh, things like um, uh, unsafe dog ordinances in the past, but uh, you know, I think it may rise to a level this time where I'm more than happy to sit down with the city of Fort Wayne's animal care and control and see if they've got any recommendations for how we might pursue something or how we might deal with these types of situations in the future. Now, I spoke with a Fort Wayne animal care and control officer this afternoon. He says he would recommend Allen County adopt a dangerous dog ordinance for the safety of folks living there. 15 Finds Out will be tracking the potential legislation's development or lack thereof. Live in Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.